some of my very first memories are of my parents fighting. $200 for a purse? What's wrong with you, Betty? That's what they cost, Harold. I'll make you a purse for $200. Oh, sure. Like that's ever going to happen. That would require getting off the couch and turning off the television. That couch has been nicer to me than you've ever been. When I was nine, they took me aside. Your father and I need to talk to you. We just want you to know this isn't your fault. That's when I stopped believing in love. After that, my mom dated a series of guys. There was Chuck, the dentist. How do my teeth look? Do my teeth look okay? He's gonna be looking at my teeth. Do you think he's gonna judge me because I don't floss? There was Richard, the contractor guy. You're really gonna like this guy. He's gonna fix our drywall problems. Andy, the guy who's looking for a job. I'm not even excited about this. And Paul, who was like in the mafia or something? He is not in the mafia. Then what does he do? Um, he won't tell me. See, that screams mafia to me. Anyways, this isn't a play about her, but mostly about me and the sky. That's Brendan. Hey, I'm Brendan. My relationship with Brendan began when I was 16. <gasps> Hold on, I can pinpoint the exact moment I fell in love with him. AP Biology class, October 3rd, 10.03 a.m. Today is a turning point in AP Biology, children. No longer shall we delve into the mysteries of the fruit fly colonies. No longer shall we mindlessly memorize the Krebs cycle. Today, we dissect a seal pig. Oh no, this isn't good. It's got eyes and it's looking at me. Partner up, kiddos. Hey, Jasmine, um, wanna be partners? Just as a warning, I'm gonna be throwing up for like most of this project. That's okay, um, since you're so cute, I can do all the gross <gasps> stuff and you can do the computer stuff. Ding, ding, ding! That's when it happened. So, maybe tonight you can come over to my house and we can type up our report. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, and I'll light some scented candles. Okay. Put Casablanca on in the background. I love black and white movies. You do? And I'll talk to you about my intense feelings about recycling and green energy. All while rubbing your shoulders while you get tense. Okay. <laughs> I could lose myself in those eyes. Aww. Our project was 19 days late. Even though I went over to his house every night. You know what's so great about us? What? Everything. I mean, don't you think so? Yeah. That's love, you know? I mean, not like love. That's a pretty loaded word, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm all nervous now. I know it's only been like seven weeks and some people would say that like this wouldn't be possible in seven weeks, but personally, I think those people must have like really miserably small hearts or something. And so they're incapable of experiencing what we're experiencing. So I love you. Um... Not exactly the response I was hoping for, but I'll take it. I um you too. Well. No, I'm rushing things. There was a lot of formaldehyde in that fetal pig, so I probably inhaled like a tub of it in bio. And that must have caused some sort of chemical explosion in my brain. I probably lost a lot of brain cells. So that's why I said what I said just then. And I know what you're thinking. Oh no, she's freaking out. My girlfriend's freaking out. But I'm not freaking out. Okay, I'm freaking out a little bit. I can't deny that. 
Can I shut up? I should shut up. Well, I, I really like you. Great. Uh, well, we can build on that. Although, I suspected as much since you've been kissing me every day for the past seven weeks, but we can set that aside for a moment. I do, I do like you, but, oh, uh, there's not a really easy way to say this, but I think we should break up. What? Um, well, I thought we were just kind of having fun, and obviously that's not what you were thinking. I mean, you're great, but I, I'm not in love with you. And the longer this goes on, the more you're going to get hurt. So I thought the best thing would just be, you know, rip off the band-aid. So, yeah. Well, I respect your opinion, but I think that is really stupid. I'm sorry. No, that's just dumb. You are a dumb person. No, I'm sorry. I didn't think we were going to go so fast. You were the one that kept inviting me over here. Look, I don't want to hurt you. Whoops! Missed out on that one already. Guess what? I'm hurt. You were the one who hailed the pig, so obviously the formaldehyde got into your brain. Dang it. Dang it! Really? They're dumping me? Just like, boom, see ya! Sorry! Stop saying sorry! I, I am sorry, I don't know. <gasps> so, three steps to becoming the new me to show Brendan that he was wrong and stupid! Part one. Work out every day. Get a rocking body. Wear super tight clothes. Make him cry. Part two. Dominate school. Get straight A's. Go to Harvard. Become a famous scientist. And wait for this moment. And the Nobel Prize for biology goes to Jasmine Merriweather. Thanks. Thank you for this. I love to thank the NOBA committee for recognizing my amazing contributions to world knowledge. Yeah, the cure for cancer was pretty sweet. So yay us. I'd also like to thank all the people who believed in me along the way. My mom, my biology teacher in high school, my professors, my amazing husband who also happens to be in the NFL, and I'm forgetting someone. Oh, yes. My ex-boyfriend, Brendan! You blew it! You totally blew it! You could have been with this. But you chose not to. So chew on that for the rest of your stupid, miserable, homeless life. Because I just won this sucker! Woohoo! No more friends! I'm going to Disneyland! And step three. If steps one and two don't work. Find a new, even better boyfriend. And so, after three sick days where I wasn't really sick, I went back to school. Um, hey. Hey? Hey? Is that really what you have to say to me, Brandon? Hey? You are not permitted to say hey to me anymore. <laughs> I thought we were gonna take a break from one another and you just bust out the Hey, as soon as you see me, you know what, Brendan? Beep. And that other thing. Beep. And then I'm gonna. Beep, beep, beep. Miss Merriweather, can I see you in my office, please? Ooh. Sure. Bring your things. So, I got two days of in-school suspension, in case you were wondering. To quote from the ISS report, Jasmine Merriweather used 14 swear words in a 20-second parade of profanity that froze my blood. 
Several of the other students in the classroom had to go to a safe room and receive counseling. She also even has appeared to create new swear words by combining several pre-existing swear words in a clever manner. Ugh. As I headed to the ISS room, I noticed one vital thing. It was located in the basement. It was actually the old fallout shelter. No windows, no cell phone reception. It was where the dangerous elements of the school were banished. I'm gonna say this once, and I'm not gonna repeat myself. You people are the dregs of humanity. You are scum. If any of you told creatures attempt anything, I will personally administrate a headlock of such force it will choke the stupid out of you. Do you know what I do at night? Mixed martial arts. Do you know what I do on the weekends? Mixed martial arts. Do you know what I do in the morning before I come to school? Mixed martial arts. Um, excuse me, this scary lady. My name is Jasmine, and I'm only here because I, I had a psychotic break in the middle of AP Biology, but I'm actually a straight-A student, so I don't really need to be threatened and everything. So if you could tone down the rhetoric, that would be great. You don't appreciate my rhetoric? No. How would you prefer me to administer justice here? Well, I don't know. Maybe we can all, like... Make a poster with the ISS rules on it. Make a poster? Yeah. Maybe with some glitter? Oh, that's a great idea. Do you have glitter? There is no glitter for subhuman toad creatures. I will break your spirit. This is my domain, and I am the empress of your nightmares. <laughs> What time is it? Um, 11.19 a.m. What are you looking for? Should you be talking to me right now? We're gonna get in trouble. We already are in trouble. I mean, that's why we're here. Right. Apparently I had a dangerously troubling psychotic breakdown this morning. Cool. Yeah. What are you in for? I chilled, man. And they gave you ISS? Yep, four days. It would have been longer, but he was only a freshman. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm here because I refuse to take a federally mandated benchmark test. Why did you refuse to do that? Well, it was a protest action against the over-reliance on standardized testing. I'm big in a protest action. I have very strong core beliefs. I can see how they'd be trying to break you back. Yep. I may have also flushed the test book, put it down the toilet, and clogged it, but... But that was mostly an accident. Yeah, I can see how that might accidentally happen pretty easily. So, uh, why'd you have your psychotic breakdown? Well, my stupid ex-boyfriend said hey to me. You had an ex-boyfriend? Yes! He broke my heart. Have you ever been in love? No. Love is great for, like, the first six weeks, and then it's like... Have you ever seen the movie Alien? Yeah. You know when the alien like explodes out of the guy's chest? <laughs> and then you're left with this like hollow shell of a creature who goes on with this perfectly normal life and says hey to whoever he wants. Oh, that does sound terrible. Yep, like walking death. I'm Drake, by the way. Jasmine. You seem nice, Jasmine. You wanna break out of here? I've been using this cafeteria spoon to dig a tunnel out. I am in the middle of an emotional apocalypse. You do not want to be speaking to me right now. So is that like a no? No! You are here talking? All right, fine. I gotta get back to my desk. I'll talk to you later. Just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, Brendan started ignoring me in the hallway. So what, you can't even talk to me now? You can't even smile at me? 
last time I said anything to you, you went insane. So, so now it's like I don't even exist? What do you want? I want your heart. Wait, no. You know what I want? I want you to feel a tiny fraction as bad as I feel. That's what I want. I want it to mean something to you. I want you to be miserable. I want you to trudge around the school like a zombie, not able to shower or shave or whatever. I want you to be a wreck and you're not. You're not a wreck. <sighs> sorry. You should be. You know what? I am so glad I broke up with you, by the way, because you're nuts. Oh yeah? Yeah? I'm gonna get a new stomach with bigger muscles and they're gonna fight you. They're in training right now. You know what they do at night? Mixed martial arts! You know what they do on weekends! You freaked me out. I'm gonna go call my mom. See ya. Mixed martial arts! <sighs> to be clear, I wasn't really suggesting that I was dating the ISS teacher, but... Bring, bring, bring! Hello. Hi, this is Jasmine from ISS. Oh, hey, Jasmine. So, the last few days you've been hitting on me, right? Yikes! Oh. Uh... No, it's okay, you can admit it. Come on, let's be adults here. I guess, I mean, I think you're kind of cute. Okay, how much you bench press? I don't know, actually. That doesn't help. Are you skilled in any fighting techniques? No. Are you willing to learn at least? Well, come to think of it, I did take Tai Chi once. Is that the one where you like choke people? No, really you just salute the sun stretch. Okay, fine. Fine what? You can take me out. Double yikes! I wasn't even asking you out. Uh, yes you were. No, I wasn't. You can be my rebound guy. I wasn't asking you out. Well, I wasn't even accepting for real. Listen, I just thought you were cute, all right? I didn't have any ulterior motives. I am helping you. I am guiding you through the process of asking me out. No, you're shoving me through the process. You need help. You need more help. All right, listen, Jasmine, I'm gonna hang up right now and I want you to rethink your life choices. You really think I'm cute? I think you're nuts. Is that cute? Bye, Jasmine. <sighs>
because the guy you fall in love with is probably going to be just as emotionally scarred and weird as you are. And that's okay. We're not jigsaw pieces. We're people. Well, that doesn't sound quite so bad. Feel better? A fractional amount. But mostly, I'm still miserable! That's fine. Enjoy your misery for a little while. Mom, do you think you'll ever fall in love again? I sure hope so. Me too. Anyways, you better get ready for school. Love you, sweetie. I love you too, Mom. I came to school that day heeding my mom's advice. Brendan and I needed to have a talk. Hey. Look, I've talked to my parents, who talked to the counselors, but they would like to see you. You know what? I'm feeling better now. I mean, I really am. I went through a dark patch there, but now I'm past it. You are not the devil. That's very mature of you. You've made some terrible choices. Most of all, breaking up with me. And that'll probably haunt you for the rest of your life. But that is your cross to bear, and I am moving on. All right, so I'll see you around. And this is the last time you will ever hear from me. Okay, I said I was getting better. I didn't say I was all the way better. All right, I've got it going. I'll, I'll, I'll see ya. Bye. <laughs> hey, you got out of RSS. Yep, either that or the tunnel worked and I'm now on the run. Look, I'm sorry about the, uh... The weird phone call? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm still working through some issues. How's that going? Minor improvements have been made. I'm still working things out, though. Well, I'll see you around. See ya. Um, hey, Drake, when I'm not emotionally fragile, would you maybe want to hang out sometime? I know that, like, it probably didn't seem like it in ISS, but I actually think that you're a really cool person, and I'd really want to get to know you better. I don't have to find you your ex-boyfriends, do I? There's only one, and no. All right. Cool. Cool. I'll see you around. See ya. So, am I over my catastrophic, staggering, gut-wrenching heartbreak? No. 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 Not yet, at least. But I've come to realize that I'm never going to find the perfect Prince Charming. Those only exist in the 23 rom-coms that I watch while wallowing in self-pity. But for now, I have to deal with having a pretty good friend who can keep me company in ISS if I ever happen to lose it again. <laughs> Love you, Drake. I mean, like you, Drake. The Staggering Heartbreak of Jasmine Merriweather by Don Zelidic. Elisa Tobar, Miss Sneed, Ensemble. Stephanie Oboyke, Scientist, Ensemble. Amira Myers, Miss Hogue, Ensemble. Dakota Hammerquist Martinet, Jasmine's Mom, Ensemble. Otterino Donardi, Jasmine's Dad, Drake, Ensemble. Tyler Holman, Brendan Ensemble. Jenna Cox, Jasmine, narrator. <laughs>